Let's get to work. We have a lot of conversation that needs to happen. Okay, the very first one is how creepy are people for signing up to Bad Bunny's? Sorry, Not Bad, 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 Bad Bunny. Babies. Bad Bunny would have been all right. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny deserves. Yo, you're the one who, yo, you're the one who told me that a guy can't get you can't get you off. <laughs> nah, he can't. But he I can. do know. I do know. I got friends in the gay community uh -huh. that say Bad Bunny is that guy. Bad Bunny. Making a million dollars in six hours. Not I got bad no problems money, with it. But baby. Bad baby, on so, the other hand. So let's give everybody the full context. All right. But baby goes. She Russian. <laughs> but baby. <laughs> she, she goes to the Dr. Phil show, a spinoff of Oprah. <laughs> a spinoff of Maury. She goes to Dr. Phil and she says, I'm going to catch you outside. No, nah, no. Nah, she said, catch bastard. me outside. How about that? Okay. But for the layman, she said, catch me outside, you bald bastard. Yes. Yeah, How did. about that? Thank you for listening, Middle America. Wouldn't you like to know? Okay. So she says that, hey, Dr. Phil, you're not going to be talking about me any kind of way. Catch me outside. In these streets. In that moment, she was like 13. 13, mm -hmm. 14. No, don't try to up her age. Early people. So you don't. So you don't seem like you're one of those. No, I'm not. Okay. I brought this topic up, by the way. Right. <laughs> she comes out with a couple of songs. A couple years later, she becomes her own entity. Okay. Somehow, some way, she's surpassed the meme, and she's become an artist. Are right. they good songs? Still under. Um, she got two good songs that I I kind of like. Okay. And a lot of drama. A lot of IGB. A lot of drama. She used to fight Wo Vicky. She fought somebody else. She lot of, fights A lot of young white chicks. No problem with that. Okay. So now... In ghetto accents. I have not seen something from her in a bit. Now, I do know. I do know her record. So I'm not... I ain't, I know that she, she has the numbers on Snapchat. I know it. Mm. She's got the contract with Snapchat. I know it. I know how vir high, her virality is... Virality. Is... Up there. I know. So she's I'm popular. not taking this away from her. She's popular. But she decides to turn 18. She decides to turn 18. I don't think she decided to do 18. that, bro. I think that was just it was a choice. life happening, bro. <laughs> she decided to turn 18. She could have been 17. She made the but choice. But she made the choice to, <laughs> to let the government up. know I'm not 18. That's how she identifies. Okay. Okay, so she identifies as 18. And the first thing she does is it starts an OnlyFans account where she can show her body now this is not the real subject that i want to bring to you the real thing that i want to bring to you layman's is this how do we know that she didn't take those pictures when she was 17. that's facts mm. because what happened kelby no. Tell ah. what, happened, kelby. what has happened kelby what happened that this is big news obviously only fans at the at the first point is something but what had happened in the first six hours of her starting her own Listen, fans. I don't have a problem with that because, and I will explain. However, I don't have a problem with it because I've seen it before. I've seen the move. Okay. I, okay. It's shout only out to you two times, Becky. This is the second time it's happened. I'm he's, saying names on the podcast. He's still asking for the refund. Look, Look yo, relax. This <laughs> is the second time it's happened. Right, relax. To my knowledge, <laughs> hey, am I wrong? Is this, this is the second well, who, time? Who was the first? Bella Thorne. Yes, she made the girl from million. Disney. She made two million. Right, and shut down the shut down the website. Yeah. Once again, another like barely legal. Yeah, she was like twenty two. Right. She was like I think so. Yeah. She okay. Was, she's real nice. But this she is older. straight. She's real nice. Seventeen to eighteen started it a million in the first six hours. Yeah. And you said it was costing about what per month? When I went to go check for research. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Go ahead. <laughs> Because I, I knew we was going to talk about it on the podcast yes. I, I said, mm -hmm. yeah, let me go do some research for, I don't, I don't want to sound dumb Right It's like twenty four something, twenty four ninety nine. Alright, so we talking about We talking about at least 50,000 And it 50, don't come 000. with HBO Max hey, that's, by a doing, hey, that's a I'm, gym membership I am Asian, so I do math well Bree, you got that? So He's Asian We talking about minimum 50,000 subscribers in the first six hours 
25,000? I'm going to say, somebody asked me if this is weird. That's no, it's not. Yeah, she, she made, made, she made a million in her first six hours. I'm going to say this. Red Man asked me if this is weird. And the only thing about this that could be weird is when she took the photos. Mm-hmm. Okay? If That's she took not the true. Pro- nah, but, but here's the thing. Like people preying on children and stuff like that. I think it is foolish for you to say that only because by the baby has been. Stop trying to make her bad boy. She's not bad boy. She's bad baby. She's Russian. She is not bad boy. But baby. Listen. But baby <laughs> has been. <laughs> Showing her body in a way on social media as if she has no parents for the past two years. The moment that her body started forming, she's been showing it off. So what do you expect to happen when people got the stimmies? She turns 18 and the one thing that she was trying to show to everybody that she was limited in showing now she can show. So no, it's not weird. People have been praying on this day. I remember the song where uh, Mac Main said, "When Miley Cyrus turns eighteen, mm-hmm. I'ma smash that." So you saying grooming is a part of American culture? Yeah, yeah, it's been. However, it's been. I'm not blaming the the people. I'm blaming the girl. She put that energy out there. Wow. She she did. Oh. So you blaming the victim? No, she's not a victim. She made a million dollars. She's oh. succeeding. She had a plan and it followed through. She followed through with the plan? plan. Yes. She's been showing her body off on Instagram for but years. Who, made, who decided that? Well, you got to ask your maker. Why so do you, you like what you God? like? Why do you like what you like? Look, this is what I have to say you about all of this. You signed is, up. Huh? You signed up? <laughs> no. Why not? He pre-ordered. <laughs> Because first of all, who was in front of you on the line, Robert? I Kelly? know these so-called players wouldn't tell you this, but I'ma be real and say what's on my heart. Mm. All right. First of all, here's the problem with all of this. Tell me. I'm not Drake. Oh my gosh. We're so going I'm on to I'm not the gonna next topic. groom a girl to where when she's 18, all of a sudden, now I'm gonna start. Making grown man moves, but all the time I've been grooming to get to this point. There's no when reason. When did Drake do that? Look, Don't first put of out all, allegations Georgia. Like that. But first of all, she's twenty something. Bobby Brown's wife. So first, uh, Bobby Brown's daughter. So first she's of all, been dead. Bobby Brown's daughter. Yes. No, mm. Millie Bobby, the yeah, white yeah. girl. That's yeah. not Bobby Brown's daughter. That's not at all. It's that is joke. not. That's but, what people call a joke. But he's oh, actually talking about, right? Yes. Okay, I and thought you said, it seriously. you said it seriously. Say Bobby Brown's daughter, say Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Yeah. Millie Rockin' Brown. So I, I'll... But at the same honest, time, honest pro- Okay, but regardless, we don't talk there's about no reason why a girl like this that turns 18 Speaking goes live that. with their OnlyFans and has a following that has 50,000 followers that are willing to pay you, 25 bucks a month. You know, or the world. I think, but I think this is a problem. This is a problem that we need to address. address because What's the problem? I, Tell me the problem. Grooming is a problem. Okay, what is grooming? Over sexualizing younger individuals. We are sex is too big of um of a what's it called? Draw? No, it is too big of it is it is too out there for it to be a problem. Like so. This is why I'm bringing this up. Speaking I to the just mic. had, huh? Speaking to the mic. I think speaking to the front, like this. I have to be close. No, no like lift tip, it up. Tip it. Remember, talk to the yeah, to the front of the mic. Yeah. Talk I to thought the we name. did the mic check. There you go. This is it. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I hear you. All right. So, I just went to dinner with my niece. How old She's is she? 17, 18. She going to UCLA freshman. She can't be both. Okay. Huh? She's going Around 17, turn 18. She's a collegiate. She can't be both. It's her freshman <laughs> year. You're already lying. No, no, no. She just goes to school there. <laughs> I know. She's right. So niece, she's 18, sir. maybe oh, look 17. Look at him. Look. She's 17, maybe 18. I don't know. Okay. Luckily Around the same Alabama. age as bad baby. Okay. Bye-bye. As you like to call it. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I, I, I look at her and I say, she's a, a regular girl that if anybody was trying to over-sexualize her, we would have some problems. Because at the end of the day, that is my niece, and I love her in a way that I'm protective. I want her to live her life, 
But if there's a grown man my age that's trying to be predatory towards her, she would have a defense all the way already written into her lifestyle that is like she could call on me and it would not be any issues other than my my guy. You are going to have problems now. Okay. Now what now bad baby is the same age as my niece. Okay. Fresh 18. So the fact that Kinda she like is in a position where she can make a million dollars off of, and I haven't seen any of the content. I don't know if she's all the way naked, if she's just taking pictures in lingerie or if she's fully clothed. I have no idea what these pictures, if there's pictures, videos, I have no idea. But the fact that an 18 year old girl could get a million dollars, make a million dollars within six hours, whatever she's posting is insane. This isn't sponsors. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you say something real quick. Hold on one second. So you're okay with this? Listen, how old are you when you're an adult? Eighteen. Well, that's it. Okay. Oh, that's it. She's she's an adult. She can vote. She can get student she loans. She can go to war. She can go to war. She can't buy a cigarette. She can't buy alcohol. She can but buy she's not. She's no. You have to be twenty one. You got be twenty one to buy cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Since when? Like a year ago. Oh. Yeah. So, <clears throat> my point is, your my point is what she's doing is on her behalf. Now, if we a year later we find out that Robert Kelly's been telling her to post these pictures on Instagram to get the boys ready, that's a different story. But from this situation, there is no there is no grooming. All we're seeing is her capitalizing on what she was posting years ago, which she was grooming the people, preparing mm -hmm. them for when she's legal for her to do what she does with that. I think that. you're setting a dangerous precedent mm -hmm. because the fact is you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know whether she's posting this on her own or whether her team is telling her to post this stuff. We don't know that. That's a fact. However, social media... By the way, this is Brie. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, social media has a big influence, especially on children. We forget that these are kids. Yep. It doesn't matter. They are kids at the end of the day, but they have so much access to the internet. It's sick. So it's like, even like BB to the point where BBLs, they don't like kids don't even, the kids. Don't even know that BBLs are the number one reason of uh, cause of death. Not What's number a BBL? one. Brazilian butt lift. Oh. Exactly. Like, it's the highest rating of, like, you know, death. But, like, they'll keep getting it, you know, because it's like they'll look like. And by the way, like, Bree is in the medical industry, so she's just not speaking out of her ass. No. Nah! She's speaking from facts. Okay, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is. It's, it's, it's the number one, like, cosmetic surgery of you know so brie you being a, a female yeah and this probably touches you deeper than it would touch you know me a male i would say in general like for me if it's family it's different but i'm sure you've dealt with the same pressures that you know other beautiful women that are do dealing with this stuff but i'm saying like is do you think that a bad a bad baby is out here realizing she can make money off of her body on her own or do you think that this is a concerted effort from outside influences that I are letting her know that this is this is what can happen it's like um, because her record deal isn't from teenage want, kids no honestly it's like those the, music videos no, weren't shot not, by teenage kids right, exactly that part right there so here's the thing it's it's, it's like it's it's a part of like it's high key it's it, it sucks. Like, it's, it's grooming. It, it, it's contradictory because it, it's genius, but at the same time, it's like it's sad. It's genius because we all want money and fame, right? Blah, 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 whatever. But it's sad because she's a child and she doesn't know no better. She doesn't know what's really happening. Like we know, we know what's happening. We're talking about it. We know what's really happening. But to her, it's like all the kids want. And I've worked with a group of kids personally. Kids are lazy. Kids see Instagram and they're like, oh, if I do 
this on TikTok, <laughs> I'm gonna get famous or whatever, you know? Like, it is what it is. So, like, for her to be like, catch me outside, how about that? Da, 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 da. And it's like, capitalize, make a t shirt, make this, make this, make this. By the time you hit 18, you could do this, you could do the OnlyFans. Sit down. You got a little, you got a little wagon. You're you're dragging a little bit of a wagon. You got some, you know, like cut it out. Like, and then people really don't care. Like you, you you've been But relevant. see, that's my issue. So the catch me outside a- moment was all her like that wasn't staged. No, it wasn't. That, that was just natural. But to make it a shirt, that wasn't her. His, to make it a, to make it like to say that hey we can make this moment viral we can make this a uh, business here's the with thing. somebody you, else you know that because she's like catch me outside about that and like she was passionate about that she was passionate about it until people made it a thing then it was like oh okay mm, like like maybe this could be something like maybe this could really be something. Like, and then like, her like, turning like, into like whatever. Like being viral. Yes. That's everybody wants to go viral. Not everybody knows who I am. Cash me outside. Yeah. And then you're going to go harder. You're going to go harder. Yeah. Cash me outside. How about that? Like with her and she had some kind of beef with some other girl, whatever. And it's like, okay, so I'm going to capitalize off of this. Then it's about money at this point because you're getting money from somebody. But that's what I'm saying. So when I say, when, when, when I say this is grooming and Kelby says, no, this is just somebody capitalizing off of what I don't you think wanna, this is her making all of these moves. You want to know what it was? Who was sitting next to her when she was saying cash me outside? Her mom. Exactly. But and maybe who, it's her mom. No, who, who, maybe it's her management who's team. Who's been broke since forever, probably. I think who's that, been struggling with a teenage daughter and went on Dr. Think, Phil I, and so realized honestly, that I don't this could be something. Their family has been broke for a while. I think ever since Dr. Phil, they've been good. Oh, but I'm what sure. I'm saying, but what I'm saying is there's a big leap between being a rap star and twerking you on camera and all this kind I, of stuff to uh, OnlyFans. I love the kids, but they the kids will make something out of nothing. <laughs> like Regardless of what she does, she was on something. She's something like, oh, Cash Me Outside about that. Like, everybody's saying it or whatever. And it's like, now you're this. Now you got grown people looking at you. Now That's the kids, the, the, the kids going to take your little rapping thing. You tried to rap. You tried to do whatever you tried to do. The kids might take it. But we know you as this. So, like, you're, you're, you're extremely relevant. Now you're relevant in our kids' lives. She ain't, she, she ain't making a million in six in six hours off a of rap. Here's the thing: you're 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 relevant in the kids' lives, and we know you from here. So you're you're you're, you're floating, and then if you meet other people that we know, now you're now you're bringing yourself up, and you're like you're, you're you're you know you're touching different levels. So it's like, and it sucks. Like you're you're just a child, you know. So now that you're 18, and now that we know you from Cash Me Outside, we've been watching you. Because the kids been watching you like a lot millions of people like kids. So, I ain't so got here's kids, my question, and kids. Kelby, maybe you can answer this. Here's my question: So, do these social media sites, whether it be OnlyFans, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Instagram, have any kind of liability towards no. towards creating an environment where pedophilia can be can happen? Sure. I mean, there's categories called barely legal. Right. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's my point. What age is appropriate for you for her to do this? In my in my opinion? Yeah. I don't think that I don't think it's appropriate until it is actually her making the decision. And what I mean by that is like, I think in my eyes, I don't think, I think that it's fine. I, I mean, I don't ever think it's fine, but I think that, I don't think that it's her making this choice. I think that it's her team making this choice. I don't think that only, I don't think you should be able to be on OnlyFans until you're 21 and over. Oh, okay. I am not here. To uncheck check marks. What's that mean? What that means is, are you legal? Check, you are. 
Are you a woman? Check, you are. Are you allowed to do whatever you want to do with your own body? Check, you are. Okay, I have nothing to say about it. That's where I am. Okay, but then at the other end of the thing, then we can't get mad at certain aspects of um, certain predatory behaviors then, right? We can't get mad at a 30, 40 year old that's dating an 18 year old. Look, Marcus Houston just got married to an 18 year old. Right. Okay. He just got married to a teenager. However, By the way, Marcus Houston makes some great ass music. Down the church. Okay. Him, immature, IMX, him and sister, sister was amazing. Okay. <laughs> but, and he got some <laughs> flack for that. However, who's going to do what about it? You can't. Did legal legal is legal. It's the same yeah. thing as it's the same thing as as minimum wage and people saying you have to pay me more than minimum wage. Says who? The government says you got to pay me minimum wage and they can get away with paying minimum wage. I agree. So if you are eighteen and the government says at eighteen you can take pictures of yourself and post it on the internet and we're not gonna have a problem with it. All you got to do is give us some of the money f from for taxes, then pay it. That's it. Well, I'm not going to be upset. I don't want to look at it only because I don't know when you took these pictures. So I'll wait a couple years until I figure it out well, on how I don't think these. legality is equal to morality. It doesn't, but that's that's a personal thing. True. Because and I'm coming out and saying that 18 if you buy if you paying 24.99 or 25 bucks to see a uh, 18 year old scantedly or Naked or whatever bad baby is, uh, you a creep. And and how old it would be the max age? If you not eight, if you not, if you don't have a teen in your name in your age, you are a creep. So a 20, 20 year old. Yeah, that's that's nasty. No. Twenty and an eighteen year old. Yes. No. If you paying money, if you paying money, maybe twenty, maybe twenty. But I I I'm think the. Like yeah, go fast. ahead and do it. But in my mind, if you paying for an eighteen year old to be out, you paying, not dating, not like you don't know what this 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 or twenty three year old is going through. Sure. Sometimes twenty three year olds are virgins. Twenty three to eighteen is fine. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Now we're reaching twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Whoa, there! What are you doing at thirty with an eighteen year old? Wow. But we're not talking about with them. We're talking about paying watching to, to pay to watch. Yes. Uh, once you hit 20, once I, I feel like once you're 25, why are you paying to watch an 18 year old? Yes. However, your business, if you're attracted to her, that's it's your business. Legal. Um, 30, talking, that's your not, business. We're not talking about legality because you could, you could pay for it at any, you could be 70 and pay for an 18 year old. If you want Le legally, you're in the clear. I'm talking about just for me, you getting a, you, you nasty. When you mm. are not a teen and you still do, well, if wait, you're not if in the same, if they're eighteen, what if you're eighteen? What's eighteen and twenty three? That means you out of college and she's still a freshman High in college. Key, but they're in love, and she's yo. What's love got to do with this? What Ja Rule told me. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that doesn't make any sense, sense. Okay. because. A thirty-year-old can marry a twenty-four-year-old without. You problem. could do whatever. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this: Is it nasty for a thirty-year-old to marry a twenty-four-year-old? No. Okay. Okay. There but there's a big it. difference between a 24 year old and an 18 year old. Now your age is. I'm not talking yeah, about the ages. difference. I'm not talking about the age difference. I'm you talking about the mental development. The, there's right. a difference between an 18 year old and a 24 year old. I don't think that a 24 year old and a 30 year old um, is is a big difference. I think an 18 year old and a let's say that's six years so a 18 year old and a 24 year old is a different being a 24 year old isn't mature enough to understand what they're doing an 18 year old isn't mature enough to know what they're doing i think a 30 year old and a 24 year old are mature enough to understand what they're doing okay Especially now what if it's a 24 year old couple? female and a 30 year old male because females mature at a different level than males do what if it's a gay couple it's the same thing. Choice is choice. At the end of the day, everything is cool as far as it's your choice. Legality is legality. I'm saying it isn't a healthy behavior for 18-year-old 
and a 24 year old 25 year old to be paying for an 18 year old to be showing them whatever I, on only they already do it on they already do it on porn but here's the problem they're gonna type in but here's the problem, legal. Kelvin. they're gonna he, type in fresh age sure, fresh but, water. Uh, you know but, but, it is what, what it is. but just because it is happening doesn't necessarily mean it's all right we could go back we could go back a hundred years what was, was happening a hundred years ago it's as worse. far as stuff that people were like well it happens doesn't make it right Okay, but let me put it to you like this. One of my friend's parents, they're 20 years apart. Okay. Nobody had a problem with that. Sure, but times have changed. They're still the guy. Great, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, if we could, if we, so here's what I think is the worst argument in the world. It's always been like that. Okay. Because you could say that we would still be in slavery if we went with that argument. See, we always go we would still but. be no, no, but we would still be we would still be in women don't have the right to vote. We would still be in that. Um, but nobody here is being oppressed. But we're not That's talking about difference. oppression. We're not talking about no, oppression. And also, we're talking no. about the argument that it's always been like that. I'm not talking about oppression. I'm not talking about racism. I'm not talking. To, I'm using the argument that it's always been like that as a reason to argue for whatever you're trying to say. Okay, fine. 18 now. You cannot vote. You cannot drink. You cannot only fan. You can't do anything. I'm not saying that 18 is wrong for going out there and and posting nude pictures of you. What I'm saying is, if you're a 30 year old and purchasing those pictures, you nasty. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It's not so this a is legal the judgment issue. Podcast. This is a judgment. <laughs> we are judging. Hey, if you are third, if you hey, there was 50,000 people that went out and purchased bad babies only fans. If you are over the age of 20 and you purchase Purchase that in my eyes, you are nasty, and that's all I gotta say. So, Chris, and as a the fact that Kelby was one of them is why he's defending this. I didn't so hard. It. I didn't buy it, but I also <laughs> I am. Did research. I'm I, I'm open to people doing whatever they want. If it ain't illegal, I'm I don't cool mind. That too. Now, Chris, as a person who bought the, the subscription, <laughs> okay. who who. <laughs> it, it won't me. You think? As, a, as the person <laughs> no. who split the subscription with six other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, what did you see on there? Uh, I wouldn't know because, again, I didn't purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to admit it. He might have started the Reddit. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I am, I'm a, I don't like. Did she look, go all the way nude on it or what? I, I don't know. See, I didn't see it. I, I don't know. know what she posted on but, there. But. But I'm not a judgmental person. I'm not going to judge you if you're 30 and you said, well, let me go see that. Because I'm ch chances are you probably watched some kind of pornographic material where the person was either 18 or slightly under 18. And, uh, you know, now, am I condoning pedophilia? No. But if they are of legal age, everybody's legal, everybody's consenting to what they're doing, she put the pictures out herself for everyone to buy, and you bought it, that's between you and God. My, my Me judging you ain't got nothing to do with it. I have a hard time believing she put these out on her own. Well, that's conspiracy. I think that she is highly, highly managed. Well, there isn't, there isn't, this is not, this is a rollout. This or. is not, this is a rollout in the sense that this is the next step of her career. This is a way to get the bag. I don't think this was just like, hey, I'm going to go out and be on OnlyFans. This was her management team, her, her agent. This was of age people deciding this. Like Bree said, maybe her mother. There is not, there, I don't, I don't believe that an 18 year old girl with the right support system is going out the way that she's going. Yeah, a break a broke one that would a broke one who made she's a lot of money broke, really quick. Though. Hold up. A broke one who made a lot of money really quickly, paid off her mama's house and then hasn't had a hit song in four years. Yeah, she might is start she doing some things. I'm not saying she's big broke, but I'm saying she may not see the money that she saw when she was red hot fire and she was putting out music everybody was listening to. She, it, she may just be like, oh, snap, I, this phase of my career is no longer here. So I need to try something else. And guess what everybody's doing? Guess what? Beyonce just won a, 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 a Grammy for promoting OnlyFans. So what do you think? Culturally, all these young girls are going to do that because I, all the older people are saying, get an OnlyFans. So then I have a problem with the culture. 
Well, then yes. th there you go. So I have a problem with the culture, and I've never blamed Bad Baby in the sense that I don't think this was her. I think it's so you society. Think she's drugged. No, I think that it is, like you said, culture. Everybody has to play a role because we are over sexualizing our youth, and it is causing them. It is causing. It, we are lowering the bar to a point where the repercussions are going to keep being nastier and nastier. And I just think that it's, it's a problem. Like we need to, we need as a society need to get our moral strength at a higher level than what it is right now. Listen, man, not everybody's going to be on the same page. I, of course, that's why we can argue about it. I don't expect everybody to be on the same page as me, but that doesn't mean that you're wrong because if you are on the other page as me on this, you are wrong. No, I'm right. If you think that it's okay to, to be just because they're at a certain age. No, if my, if my 18 year old niece was, was out there on OnlyFans doing what she is. She, me and her are going to have a conversation. Okay. Why don't you have the conversation with the culture then? That's exactly why I'm, what I'm doing right now, Kelly. Mm. I'm having a conversation with the cult, with the culture saying, I think the culture is wrong. I think that we need to under, we need to, we need to have innocence in our youth longer than we're giving them the opportunity to be innocent. Okay. Let me give my real opinion. Yes. I think. That everyone being this practical porn star, that's not great for our people as a nation, right? It's not. However, I do also believe in everybody's right to do whatever they want. Sure. So I believe in that. So as I was speaking to one of my friends, won't say her name because I like her, uh, like as a friend, but she has an OnlyFans and she's very public about it, you know, and she's an adult, like she's in her 30s. She is an OnlyFans. She doesn't mind posting on Facebook where her family resides. She doesn't have. She doesn't mind sharing the stuff where, of course, the average person would not want to share that with people that they're close to, right? But even in that sense, seeing somebody that you know who makes their money by revealing their body on the internet is kind of weird. It's kind of weird just knowing this person and just being like, okay, if I pay four dollars, I can see you naked, right? So I think you ultimately have to pick a side. Do you want people to be able to do whatever they want and they shall be judged by man above? Or, hey, these are my thoughts on society. We all got to fit into this. Man and woman have to sleep in two beds like it used to be in the 50s. You have to pick a side. For me, I know that my judgment doesn't lock anybody out of heaven. So do as you please. But the repercussions come from the one upstairs. And if you don't believe in him, that's on you. If you do, that's on you. That's where I am. I agree. At the end of the day, like I'm speaking to how, what I think is morally right or wrong. Do I think legally it's right or wrong? I'm not, I don't think that bad baby should, it should be illegal for her. If she's 18 and that's legal, let her do whatever she wants to do. But, but, I think that it but, is going to be a long-term problem as far as her development to be able to do this. And I think that it's sad that. Um, she fit, she could make more money off of what she's doing on OnlyFans than she could do off of making music, well, off I mean, of being it's not an like actress. She's a talented musician. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, she is a popular. She is a. She's talented enough to get into the public eye, talented enough to become famous, pretty enough to be able to be somebody who people are interested in. You would think that those type of talents could get her to a place where she could be financially in a place where she didn't have to go out and do whatever she's doing on OnlyFans to become a millionaire. I think that that, I think that if that is, if we're sending the bar and not to say that there's anything wrong with it, because at the end of the day, there is a lot of people that are willing to pay money and I'm all for capitalism. Do whatever you need to do to make money. So I'm a capitalist by nature. I have nothing wrong with it. I think it's sad that we haven't developed enough skills as far as a society to have a talent like Bad Baby be able to make a living without having to do what she needs to do. Yeah, well, fans. what you're saying doesn't only require Bad Baby. And we're going to wrap this up because we're going to move on. But it doesn't, it, to make music, 
it does not only require her making it for her to be successful. It has to be consumed by the people. And if the people say, I don't want to hear this anymore, she's got to figure something else out. I don't want to see Bad Betty working at 7-Eleven. Somebody who has that opportunity, she's going to figure out some kind of way where she's not the average person. She's not going to make the average decisions. Sure. So, again, this is a moment in time where everybody's pushing this narrative, this OnlyFans thing, right? It'll die just like everything else does. Before, uh, um, um, I several years ago, I knew a lot of people who did porn. And then that kind of just fell off. Like, porn doesn't not exist anymore, but it's just not but this. But it's... it's- Switched into OnlyFans. Sure. Porn you know, stars are now making more money. And I'm not mad at them for it because they're making more money the consumer. off of o- because at the end of the day, what OnlyFans did was give these people that want to sell sex, I guess, give them more control over their content versus if they were going to do it through a studio or through um, you know, a website or whatever it is. So these porn stars are actually making more money okay. off of OnlyFans than they are. And I'm all for that. Listen, and man, sex revolution, prostitution sure, revolutionized the but West. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't think it's bad for society morally that this sure. is the, the case. That's all I'm saying. I'm so for it. I don't, I don't think we should change anything in the sense that their ability to be able to do it. What I would like is us as a, as a society to morally give them more options or, or whether it be like, hey, maybe it means that, hey, I don't want to be a millionaire. I could make 100000 a year doing something that doesn't revolve around me having sex with this person or me being naked on camera or whatever it is. I could do this based off of my skill set. But she has that opportunity. Great. She just doesn't want to take it. We got to stop saying, oh, we need to give more opportunity. There's every opportunity in the world in this country. There's just sure. every opportunity. If she wanted to go to college, she could. I knew I knew a girl who did OnlyFans three years ago, but it was a different website. Same idea, but different website. She did it for like six months, and then she was just like, nah, I'm kind of done with this. She went to college. Huh. Great. Like Mia Khalifa, right? She made a bunch of money off of being a porn star, and now she's not a porn star. And she's created a career off of not being a porn star now. All right. Sasha Gray, like all these, all these people. Why well, you know how they know you? Because I've seen this whole uh, revolution of former porn stars growing into other careers, talking about how that like they regretted their porn star years mm-hmm. and are able to use their talent for other. Well, guess what? What they would have never been able to get the opportunities that they had sure. if they weren't busting it wide open. You might be right. Because they're not that talented. And they're not that interested <laughs> in putting effort into something else. Okay. I don't know that. I don't know that. All I know is you take the route that was given to you. And at that point, that's what they felt that, that was given to you. And that was given to you based on the society we live in. And at the end we of the day, have a bunch of Kim I Kardashians watch around. porn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm saying Kim Kardashian is probably one of the most uh, wealthy and famous women on the planet. And she was nothing until she had a sex tape come out with Ray J. There you go. And at the end of the day, and her formula still works. And you don't blame Kim. You don't blame Ray J. You blame us because us as consumers yes. allowed her to build that. And so at the end of the day, I'm not talking about reality. I'm talking about um, what I would like. Morality. I'm talking about what I would like. I'm talking about morality as far as my morality and what I would like to happen. I would love for there to be these talented, beautiful women not feel like OnlyFans is their opportunity. 